And welcome back folks, welcome back to Let's Play Zelda A Link to the Past. It has been quite a while since my last recording session, two months in fact. So let us continue the things that we do while I struggle with the elastic cord attached to my headphone. Yeah, we were in dungeon number four. I guess it has a name, but I forgot it. Um, and we do things that you would typically do in a dungeon, like going around collecting items. And things that are typical for me being in a dungeon, namely having no idea where you're going. Uh, yeah, and I'm... And I got turned into a bunny, hooray. No, I got unturned into a bunny. Yeah, I don't quite know where I'm going here. I guess uh, I should check the map. Okay, we should probably go to the left. Hmm. It seems that we need a key, but I don't think that we have the key that is necessary to open this door. Probably. Yeah. We need the big key. Ugh. Almost got hit. Almost. And then I got hit. Okay. Ah. So we need to get up there, which... Hmm. Involves coming back here and then going through that door. Ah, yeah, I remember this room very vaguely. Uh, yeah. And there's not much that we can do here. I don't suppose we can use the hook shot. No. Can't use the hook shot, so we are probably meant to go find another way into that room which probably involves getting the big key first okay I think we should then proceed uh, down by the looks of this map let us go down and not in the sense that you think I said it Three minutes into the video and I made my first sexual remark. That didn't take very long, did it? Okay. Does this crate contain a key by any? No. But it contains the compass, which means that we know... ...know where the master is, and he is in fact on the first floor. Which is quite unusual, because I think... ...up until now the master has always been on the lowest floor. Or more, more or less. Uh, is this a new... No, that's just leads back to somewhere where, we've, where we have been before. Let us grab that heart and that magic. There's got to be another item here on in this room. There should be a key in here. Of course, if, it, if it's not in here, I don't... Hmm. I don't know where it could be. Yeah, and then I got turned into a bunny because I didn't see that swirly, <laughs> swirly swirl of light. 
And I'm almost dead, in fact. Which is not very good. Being almost dead is not very good. Although it is certainly better than being dead. And that guy did not drop a heart. Uh, hmm. Let me quick save here. Hmm. Then let us actually go back. Ah, there's a crate which contains the big key. Yes. Quick save and... Yeah, then we should try to maneuver, maneuver carefully uh, through this area back to... Yeah. And by carefully I meant precisely avoiding that. I really can't imagine me playing this game without quick saving and quick loading. I mean, this would. This must take forever. Yeah. But I guess that's the point. Yeah, this mechanic is clearly supposed to maximize playing time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Get lost. Ah, finally this annoying beeping sound is gone. Hooray. Wait, is this the room of the master? I think it is. Yes, that's the room of the master. The master is not here yet. Which probably means that we have to flip a switch or something like that. And that health does not respawn, of course. Because that would be too cheap. Ah, uh, hmm. I have an idea. Let's quick save. Let us test my idea. My idea was not correct. The idea being that, um, okay, we've seen that already several times that the door to the master was blocked by some unlit um, lights. Now my idea was that maybe here you should, yeah, put out these lights in order to summon the master, but apparently that is not what you do. And now we enter that room containing bombs. Things I can push. Maybe. Can I push you? No. I don't think so. Hmm. What's the bloody point of this room? Suppose these stairs go down. Uh, hmm. Well, maybe. Let's, yeah, let's go there first and get hit in the progress, in the process, not in the progress. <sighs> yeah. Okay, that was, hmm, can you kill them? No. Or maybe, maybe you do, actually. Um, yeah, you can. Ah. You can kill some of them. 
can kill those, uh, which, yeah, which don't have the white thing in the middle, but only, but only when they are not protected by the cloud. Yeah, and then uh, okay, let us not waste. Uh, Let us stop doing that. By we, I mean I. Let us, let me stop doing that. And now I remember why I kept, I stopped playing this game. Because it's annoying. This game is annoying. This game, this, this game is annoying. This this, 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 okay, so this game is annoying. <sighs> yeah. Ugh. This game is annoying. As you can play, you see. Okay, don't say that. I hope you are not thinking what I'm thinking. Which is, yeah, okay, I'm not saying it. <sighs> okay, we need to... Hmm. Yeah, we need to toggle this uh, blue... Blue-yellow state thingy. My bop. And I completely forgot how you do that. I think you need to step on. You need to step on this thing. No. Uh, ah, no. Okay, how do you. Hmm. I actually forgot how you do that. Yeah! Curse you! Oh, thanks God! Yeah! Okay, two down. Yes, and I'm completely abusing the quick save mechanic. That is because I'm horrible at this game. Ah, that's the thing that you need to press in order to flip the state. <laughs> okay, how do I keep doing that? I think I'm the worst. I'm the worst. I think I'm the worst Zelda A Link to the Past player in the history of Zelda A Link to the Past. And when we come back, folks. <sighs> yeah. I will probably continue to be the worst, world's worst player at Zelda A Link to the Past. So until next time folks, until then.